Today we're making this Twitch effect. There's a preset in the description as well as screenshots of the settings if you're scrapped for time. First, you want to set up your clips. I usually split my clips up where I want the impact to be. Use Control, Alt, Y to create an adjustment layer. Command Alt Y on Mac. The first plugin we'll be using is Twitch. I'm using FX Console to search for it. If you don't have FX Console, the link will be in the description. All right, let's start with the Twitch settings. For the amount, set a keyframe at the impact. I'm setting mine to 105. This all depends on how heavy you want your Twitch to be. So go a few frames back, like two or three frames. I'm using page up or page down to move back and forth by single frames. Use page up to move back one frame. Use page down to move forward one frame. Set a keyframe at zero. Now go 10 or so frames forward. If you hold shift and then press page down, you'll go 10 frames forward. Then keyframe the amount to zero. Then I select all the keyframes and I use F9 to easy ease. If you can't use the F keys, F in the chat, then right click the keyframes, keyframe assistant, then select easy ease. I modify my graph to look similar to this. I didn't keyframe the speed, I just set it to 30. Drop down enable and check the blur, light, and slide. I kept the blur amount at default, the light at default, and the slide I changed the amount to 25. You can change all of these, this is just a basis for the edit in the intro. Future Mo here, I'm a little congested so ignore that. But for the slide, make sure that we change the spread from 1 to 0. This also ensures that we have a vertical uh, twitch blur as you guys can see right here. All right, back to the video. Next, we'll add the directional blur. You can use the built-in plugin for directional blur, or you can use any external plugins like Sapphire or Boris Continuum. For the blur amount, I set a keyframe at the point of impact again, and I set that to 120. I set another keyframe at zero before the clip, two to three frames back, and another keyframe 10 to 12 frames later. Again, this is all relative. If it doesn't look correct to you, adjust the keyframes as you see fit. I do a similar graph as the first one for these keyframes. And also set the blur angle to zero if you want vertical blur. Last but not least, the brightness and contrast for impact. I only keyframe the brightness, but feel free to go crazy with the contrast too. I keyframe 110 at the impact, keyframe zero, a few frames before the clip, and then go around 10 to 12 frames forward and keyframe it again at zero. You see, I kept it short that time. You're getting the hang of it. You're like Neo, not, not that Neo, but Neo from the Matrix. Downloading this info to your brain. Alright, so I usually trim the adjustment layer, add a marker on the impact so I can copy and paste the effect and reuse it in my project. To add a marker, use the asterisk symbol. And now your Twitch should look like this. Mo from the feature again. Remember that these values are not set in stone. You can always change them. Um, you can always change the blur amount. You can always change the speed. Just mess around with it. In the final edit, like the one in the beginning, I just had different values on each of them just to add variation. Some portions of the clips didn't need that heavy amount of twitch. Like for example, right here, you see how the, the clip transitions right here. But on the second hit, that doesn't need a heavy twitch, you know? If I duplicate this one and and I change this, I bring this down to maybe like 50, change the blur amount to like, 
I don't know, 35, change the brightness down as well. See? The, but it's still there, it still makes an effect, you know? But it doesn't need a heavier twitch. And I think when you bring it down, make sure to check the graphs, because the graphs can do this. So if you guys ever have any issues with the graphs going out of whack when you're changing the values, yeah, you're gonna have to <laughs> readjust the graphs to whatever values you change it to. Make sure that you don't accidentally copy over the wrong twitch. You can change the color. You make this one light blue, or you can just, you can rename it, you know? And you can just copy, copy this all around. questions concerns or you want me to make a version that's plug-in free or if you have any other topics you want me to dive in on definitely leave a comment and let me know and make sure to join the discord for updates and additional info thank you for watching never stop creating and i hope to see you again Peace out.